is Welcome back to the channel. My name is Coyote and today we're going to be doing a vlog kind of video. I'm going to be talking, as you would have seen by the thumbnail, I'm going to be talking about how I'm basically 99% going to lose my license because my P plate fell off. Yes, a P plate fell off. Now, I know a lot of my audience is in America, so you guys probably don't know what a P plate is. I think only 15% of my viewers are from Australia. So, I am going to give a brief explanation on P plates. So, basically, you can get your license at 16 and you have to display an L plate. It's yellow and black. I'll pop up an image here. Um, and which means you can drive the car, but you have to be always be driving with a supervised, um, full license holder and after a year of doing that and getting all your hours you can upgrade to the red peas and basically after a year of your red peas you upgrade to your greens and when you've had two years of your green peas you're on an open license so you have no restrictions whatsoever so that's your brief rundown on the plates so long story short i'm gonna be um doing a bit of driving today i'm actually going to be ducking into the police station and i have elected the hearing to court so i'm going to be explaining that whole story um if you like the car if you want to watch me just fucking tune in and start watching so long story short i was doing a bit of a shopping run with the miso we we're going out to shopping centers and buying some shit up um so as you can see there's the front p plate there and my rear p plate is here so basically what happened is my p plate fell down without me noticing now i'm assuming that back p plate fell down because i was putting stuff in the boot and when i closed the boot um the suction cup probably attached itself but i didn't notice i didn't notice that my p plate was off so i, I had no clue and so i was driving around and i decided you know when i'm gonna go home i'm gonna drive through the city way so i decided to drive through the city way or whatever and then basically a cop van basically appears a wild cop van appears and it's super effective against the 350z because it pulls me it rides my ass for a bit pulls me over and we start chit chatting talking and everything and basically long story short i get issued a fine um and demerit points so demerit points when you're on your p's you only have can only get up to four before you lose your license when you're on your full license i believe you have 12. um so basically i only had one point left on my license and the um the fine for a p plate falling off was like 200 and something dollars and um like two demerits i believe um and the the finer was officially failing to display front and rear p plates because i was failing to display the rear one i got done for that fine and now you can see the sun's come out and the color has started to pop as well and i was pretty pissed off about that because you know it's a suction cup these things fall off sometimes and you can't always be aware of it it's a, such a simple little thing you know they could have pulled me over and been like hey just put it back up on and i would have been like yeah sweet as but it wasn't that simple keep in mind it was a really hot summer's day and suction cups don't like to stick uh stick to glass when it's a hot day so i do believe that that scenario was kind of bullshit um in the first place so basically what i did is i got the fine you have up to 28 days to pay the fine or elect it to court. I decided, look, um, I'm going to elect it to court. So I waited on the 28th day and I elected the hearing to be dealt with in court. Basically what that means is I get to keep my car and drive it around for longer because to organize a court hearing and everything takes about like three months. So I get to drive around for longer. Um, but I got called up by the police station in the valley um, to go in and sign some forms and documents so it sounds a bit sus because i've done this before and i never had to do any of that so i'm going to check that out um we'll see where it goes and thanks for tuning in let's continue the vlog cold start traction control off I swear, I'm just to feel 
station most of my life. I think I would be a lot richer if I didn't have to pay for fuel, to be honest. Like, the amount of times I have to fill this bitch up. So is it just me, or is it a thing that, like, just after you filled up, like, you gotta give it some gas? Like, I swear that's just an unwritten rule. So we just parked the car in the city. Um, we're going to the police station now. I was gonna record going into the police station just strapped to my head, but I thought that might be a bit confrontational and maybe they're actually gonna try to help me out with the fine. We'll see what actually happens. Uh, but I will put it in the pocket as evidence and also for content for YouTube. So um, yeah, we'll be straight there now. I don't. Uh, okay, if it's private, if they're not open, they're not open. Are, they, are you all like this? Because I know you're all not like this. No, we're not. Just this good solid amount of you. Honestly, fucking AIDS, bro. So, I don't know if you guys actually heard any of the recording. I'll review the footage and check that out. But basically, your boy is going to court in a month. So, that's going to be really fun and exciting. So, yeah, basically, I'm going to be going to court. Uh, me and the miso are going to a house inspection because we are planning on moving out. And this house looks really promising. So, we're going to do a little drive over there and we're going to go check it out. So, before we go to the inspection, we're doing the usual quick Hot Wheels run to see if there is anything of importance. Well, unfortunately, that was pretty much jack shit. We usually check the actual pallets to see if there's any Hot Wheels in the pallets. That's like a good way to get the good ones out before they go on the shelves, because that's pretty much what happens all the store workers. They actually get all the good ones out from the pallets and before they put them in the shelf. So they pretty much never go to the shelf in the first place. But uh, we'll keep looking around. Ooh, which one should I drink? Let me know down in the comments. Fanta or domestic multi-purpose bleach? Just let me know down below, guys. All right, what trash do we have in store today? Babe, we're going in here. Oh, I used to play this. I still have that game. Yeah, you still have it. Oh. Look at her going on. <laughs> Oh no, this is the game I played. You know how I was talking to you about Tony yeah. Hawk? This was the one. Right. That was pretty cool. It was actually really fun. Yeah, I used to play that all the time as a kid. Right, did they actually have a Stuart, Stuart Little game? Where's that? Oh, Stuart Little 3. <laughs> Brr. That's pretty cool. Mm. This is a good game. It's so much like memory. I know. The nostalgia is real. Oh, they even got like the Pokemon books. I remember back in the days when like gaming books were just the essential because the internet wasn't a thing. Mm. So you had to rely on all your like investment and how to complete missions and stuff yeah. from the books. You couldn't just look it up. Now you just look it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, Xbox games. They're all there. Wait, what? Oh, oh you, she thought no, it was Kirby, it didn't you? Kirby. Yeah, no. Hold up. It's just peach. I don't know. Oh my god, what are you No, I'm being mature. I'm just putting them together. Oh, dude, look at that. Overwatch has, it's kind of cool, I guess. Look at the GameCube stuff, that's before us. Oh, I didn't even see the big one.
I had a pink controller as one of the controllers. I didn't even know that was a pink. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh, that was just the DS one. I know, that's so cool. And that was before the DS. And this is before Look. Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Gold, and Pokemon Silver. You can see how they actually have like sparkle and cartridge. They look really cool, right? Eh? Yeah. Look how much that is. I used to. Okay. <laughs> okay, seriously. I used to play this as a kid. Play this? Yeah. <laughs> this as a kid, guys. It was basically porn. Without the internet, you literally just plug this into your PS2 and it was literally a porn hub. That was, that was the good old days. She didn't actually let me play it until I kept begging. And I think she let me play it. <laughs> That's... She's like salty. Ooh, look at this. I wonder if it's meant to be like that. I think that's been damaged. No, I don't think so. Ooh. Okay, this is nostalgia. This game, babe. And look at this. I wish this was a real car, because that looks so cool. That cover looks so awesome in hair. And obviously hit and run, that's a good shit. Pokey Park, I used to play Pokey Park all the time. I mean, every game in this store I played all the time, but these are just some of the bangers. Yo, look! It's Yoshi Negro edition. Look at that! Yoshi Negro! Rough. Shiny He's actually Negro. I just finished up at Toomble, about to head off to work, but I got distracted by this amazing Lamborghini Urus. It's in a black, it's like a satin matte black. With the, you got the accents, you got the 23 inch rims with the ridiculous sized calipers. They're actually, I think, the hugest on a production car. This thing is fucking crazy. I really have to go to work, but holy shit, that car is fucking sexy. So, guys, we just looked at the property, and oh my god, it is perfect in every way. Heaps of car space for our project cars. Brand new bathroom, brand new shower, everything is spick and span. It, on the outside, it's kind of a sleeper house. Looks like a Honda Civic on the outside, but it looks like a Rolls Royce on the inside, so that's pretty fucking sick. Um, we're gonna get sent the application and everything, and I really hope me and Sasha can get this place because it ticks every box, so I'll be able to let you guys know about that process. Um, this is my second vlog video. Most of my videos are informational videos about the 350Z or scenic drives and all sorts of stuff. So if that interests you, please drop a subscribe and a like on the video. That would really help me out. And um, thank you so much for tuning in and yeah, just tuning into my life and watching my videos. It means a lot. So thank you guys. Bye-bye. I'll catch you in the next one.